So hey guys, so today I'm doing a little still life painting for you guys. So here I show you guys um, me mixing some uh, water-based paints. And here I mix some like brown paint, yellow and blue. And I don't need that. I just need literally just the brown paint. And my my brain don't work sometimes, you know, like, <laughs> don't work. So anyway, so I kind of changed it off. And I did it with my watered down with paint. This is, this is a... a a water-based um, oil paint by Winston Newton. What I do is I already drew it with um, some charcoal. Some um, it's a um, probably. So what I use is um, this Winston Newton artist charcoal. And they're like divine sticks. I'm gonna put a link down below so you guys know what I use throughout the video. So in the video, um, I use a 16 by 20 canvas, and you see me when I drew the um, the thing in the charcoal. I was looking at it at the um, the actual still life, but then here you saw me you see me with an image on my computer, and it's just a whole thing. So here I just I'm just painting where the shadows goes, and I just I add more more paint. So when I want to have it darker, I just add um, less water to the paint so that I can have like shadows. And I just, I just wanted to map out where I want everything to go. The other way, um, I'm sorry I'm a little behind in the video, but I'm gonna get back on track. And um, yeah. Also, I wanted to mention also that um, my video, my video is gonna be a little bit shorter soon because I just figured out I, I don't understand why I didn't know that because I don't record my camera I have I do have a camera just I don't know how to use it because I, I don't know I don't, I don't know how to do that. so I use my phone to record everything as you can tell it kind of looks like phone recording so I figured out that I have this hyperlapse thing and I think all phones have it that I didn't know I had on my phone and I figure it out so I could record my phone as a time lapse and I didn't know how to do it so that, that's why my videos are so long because of the, the video but next time when I think when I record my next video you're gonna see this gonna be a lot shorter because it is gonna be a lot shorter but I'm just I'm gonna talk to you guys you know a little chit chat while I'm you know shading this in and let me know if I talk too fast, you know, um, or anything you guys like, like when I talk in my videos, if you like me just, <laughs> I know my videos are kind of boring because I don't talk to them, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to show, show my face one day, I might show it off, you know, you want to know, um, but yeah. So here I'm gonna show you. Um, so this is my old, actually this is old paint. I know some think about kind of gross. I know, I know, I know. But this paint um, I used is actually for my first video that I made. It was actually commission painting that I made. And um, I'm gonna show you um, probably in, in another video of how I store it and why I store it. But um, but yeah, I just I store my paint. Because ain't nobody want um, no nobody wants 
to uh, waste, uh, lose waste. So the paint is not cheap, as I said. So, um, so I, I didn't use these paints because the assignment, this was actually was the homework assignment. I just using it for my video because why not? So, um, here I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna end up using this, but I'm just talking in the way that I make my black. So, how I make my black is that I mix, um, I use my brown umber, which is what I use to paint my background, and and uh, my blue. And the blue that I use is called, oh, I'm actually gonna show it there. So, I use cadmium red, cadmium and yellow hue. Uh, French ultramarine blue and some white and I have a big tube of it titanium white so I use the blue and the brown to, to do so I'm not even gonna need all of these so I was only gonna I was only allowed to use to be used uh, five colors well four colors because um, white is a shade so I use the blue, the yellow, the red, and it's like a darker red that has is the way that I can make pink, but that was just a sign that he just signed. So you see me just uh, pouring out the paint there on the on my palette. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm, I keep this. Oh, and the, there's my sexy head. Oh, I know. So it's so good. I bought it in a thrift shop. If you guys were wondering. So, um, what I started with, I think it was making my black. So, I actually used um, my red, yellow, and blue to make it. The, the paint is not comp it's not a real black. It go, um, is actually kind of, kind of purpley, sort of. So, when I, oh, and also, I used a white piece of paper to test out my black. And I thought it was good enough. It was kind of a brown, purple. And I think, that, that, I think for me, that was good enough for me. And there, I don't even know why I mixed it because I didn't even end up using the paint. <laughs> but, um, oh no, I think I took from the, the white. I'm sorry, I'm like so out of it. Okay, this is my first time doing a voiceover. So anyway, so you can see that the purple paint is there. So first I started it off with just having a coat of white paint on top. And don't mind like the red stuff because I don't know where I came from, but like I had this in my room, the painting, before I even started painting on it. And like, I don't know why it went red, but I think it's I think I paint I think I got paint on it. But I don't know how, but it's okay. But anyway, so I just started to uh, slab on like my lighter gray color, cause the mat cause um you know mannequins are white, but then you know they have shadows because of the, the lights I was looking at. And also, I'm going to uh, leave it to you guys so you guys can see like the. The process of making the mannequin, and then I come back to you guys so you can see it. Like you got, you guys understand what I did.
Um, okay, so now I just showed off my pink. So what I did was I just added the a cerulean red color that I used. And I just added white to it. That's all I did. And I um, the fabric I was using was pink. So what I did was um, I didn't pay attention to, to the brown marks there. And I just kind of mapped it out with my, like, I looked at the. Here you see that I'm adding white, and I actually, at one point I used my finger, I don't know if, yeah. I show in the camera. <laughs> Sometimes I'm in like using the brush and I use my fingers to blend because it's so much easier. But I do, I, sometimes I do use my my hands to blend. So I, I just think that it comes out a little more smoother. I, I don't know if I show it again, but yeah, that's my process. So here, um, I'm just finishing off some finishing touches. I just use my, you know, fake black, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And I, um, just, you know, cover the black parts and add some shade, some, some tints and shades to it. So, it, you know, you can look 3D and it looks like it's popping out. The so next I have this, like, I went on a cruise to Mexico and they have these, um, these ceramic cups. Like the terracotta cups. Um, and I decided to take that as a still life. And I painted it and I used this this actual paint. I just didn't I at one point I kinda gave up and I used the paint that I used um to make my first painting video. And I just slapped it on there. <laughs> because I I was like, I don't feel like making more paint, so I just I think it was just a good way because I didn't waste paint.
So what I do is here is that I kind of um, add a little more brown to um, to the background so it doesn't clash with the star from him because it was kind of still a gray tone. Um, so what I did was I just kind of mapped out where the sh uh, where my light source was at and how where the darks and lights were at. I just started, so I mapped it out and here um, I don't know what I did. Oh, here's right when I spilled my linseed oil and I made a whole mess. And I show you guys because I love showing you guys my mess. So here, I used dark colors to make the lines because the background was actually um, <laughs> some table mats. <laughs> and decided to use it as my background. So I just had to add lines. At first, they weren't working on it. I was my finger and using different stuff to trying to like figure it out and I was trying to map out my shadows and stuff like that. Later on you're gonna see me like actually like finally work it out. And I was kinda getting um, patient here because I was getting tired of this painting because it was just really stressful for me. I don't even know why. It look, I looked like I had fun there, but I, <laughs> sometimes I wanna just want. That's why I had like no linseed oil left or anything. You guys only need linseed oil, it just came with my kit. So I, I wanted to use it. It made the paint more, um, smooth it to smooth out so then here you can see the illusion of where my the, the bottle is shadows on And here's when I got a hang of it, and it's already like just adding black lines. I was just like, you know what, whatever, let's try it like this. And I ended up liking this method instead, and it actually worked out very well. Just to let you know. <laughs> um. Okay, so now I just showed off my pink. So what I did was I just added the azure, a cerulean. I lost the rest of the footage, but I'm saw a picture of it at the finale. But have a great day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>